Hey, it's going to YouTube, so you know it's best here. He'll about to do a little showdown of the cases for the iPad. I'm going to be showing you the Apple's case for the iPad that pretty much everybody bought on day one. And also, I'm going to show you the in-case convertible book jacket for the iPad. And uh, so I'm going to show you the in-case, which is very good quality. It's made out of leather, so it feels good in your hand. It feels nice and sturdy, nice and smooth here on the outside. It feels great. Uh, it has this little strap here if you want to strap it down or something or strap something else to it. And uh, if you open it up here, it has this little soft mesh in here. It feels great. It feels like it'll, it'll actually protect the iPad in case you drop it or something like that. You can slide the iPad case or the iPad right inside the case through this right here. You have access to all of the ports, the connected ports, the uh, uh, speakers at the bottom, also the power buttons and the headphone jack at the top. And also it has these cool little three little grooves here, which I'm going to show you in a second. Now, the other case that, again, everybody else has is the Apple iPad case, which comes standard, really, for everybody who bought, bought their iPad. They pretty much got this one. And you can see it just gets extremely dirty. Um, I actually cleaned it off a little bit. And also, it has a little imprint here. This is from the little stand right here. I, I hate that at all. Uh, but this one is thinner than the in-case case, but I don't feel like it will protect it at all when you really drop it as, as the in-case will. Uh, but it is then and you still have access to all the ports as well. Now the main functionality of this case as I'm going to put the iPad in the end case here is I'm going to show you here and you basically pretty much just want to slide it right through here like so. Alright and it's in there. Alright now the main functionality of this case though as I was pointing out these three little grooves right here is used to actually prop the case up. And this is the main feature of the uh, Apple's case that really put it over the top and made a lot of people want to get it. So you can prop it up. It has three little set positions right here. That's that one being the middle. This one being the one at the bottom. And you can also drop it all the way down. And this is the same position, as you can see, as the Apple's iPad case does. So the same position. But this one gives you a couple more that you, you can actually do, with, well, three more, that you can actually do to have a, a different viewing angle. And it is absolutely perfect. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall down when you're trying to do something there. It feels nice and sturdy there, so I really like this case just because of that. Now, one of the downfalls with this case is, though, is this doesn't feel extremely tight. Um, the iPad does slip out just a little bit, just enough to make some of the uh, the headphone jack or the, the power button out of you know, out of place there, but you can easily tap it in. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall all the way out, like it's going to drop out or something, but it's just like an uncomfortable having to go back and do it and push it back in a little bit. Um, so th here's the case. I'm not going to make this video long. I really like this case. This is replacing my Apple case. I feel it's like it's very sturdy. It's going to provide full protection and those uh, more viewing angles are great. So this case isn't cheap. It's about 60 bucks. You can get it from Apple Store or NK Store. Uh, I think it's about 20 bucks or so uh, more than Apple's, but the quality is way better than Apple's, I have to be honest. And I really like this case, so it's, it's going to be a good, good thing to use for uh, this point out. All right, it's been so you know best. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace.